Okay, hello Boat Club, your Commodore here. It's Thursday, April the 8th. I have uh, what will try to be a quick briefing for you on four topics. First, I want to talk about last Saturday. I want to talk about the ending, uh, the last concert on the lawn, and what to expect moving forward. I'm going to start to show a little bit of Q1 results. We don't have all the numbers in, but there's a whole bunch of good news. You'll be able to see that in detail during the uh, flag meeting later on this month, but I'm going to go ahead and release some of the early numbers. And then I want to talk briefly about the first Mission Bay Tackle Show and Swap Meet that we're trying to do May the 16th. Okay, first of all, let's talk about last Saturday. Last Saturday, Whiskey Ridge was a successful event. It was successful on many parts. First of all, we were set up for a $12,000 day. We've broken ground, or broken records with $10,000 days in March. We did two of them. We did $6,000 only on Saturday, which turned out to really be a nice day, right? Because there were no lines whatsoever. We had four bars outside. We're taking credit cards from every location, and no one waited. And it was, it was great because we proved what we can do now. We've gotten better each time one of these shows comes around. This time, what I was really most excited about was the volunteerism. We're using, um, we're using volunteers to play key roles in setting up these bars outside. So we're adding revenue without add, adding overhead expense, which is really huge. So a shout out to uh, a couple of my volunteers like Spencer and Lefty. These guys are really setting the stage and setting the bar for what I believe is going to be a critical component for our new business model for the boat club moving forward. Now, a lot of people are, are asking a lot about the ending of the concerts on the lawn. Apparently, people don't want them to go away. Well, this concert series is ending. It had a very single-minded focus. Now, that does not mean we're not going to have live entertainment. We are. They're going to be event-related and holiday-related primarily. We're closing the spigot a little bit, so you can expect one to one and a half concert venues outside at the boat club throughout the summer. Now, I think as summer gets here, it's really time for us to start focusing on our primary charter directives Entertainment and live music is going to be a key component of that. It's just going to change a little bit in nature. Let's, let's talk about uh, uh, bar sales. So this is the first quarter, what you're looking at here. The green bars on the right are sales for January, February, and March. Uh, then you can see August through December of last year, just for relevance. What we, the blue bars indicate what our goal was. So we thought if we took it, 18 grand for January was a pretty aggressive goal. And then the idea was to try to grow it 10% a month, which was a lot. And um, it was quite the undertaking. But you can see the results. We exceeded our goal already on in January. Then we started really finding our groove and figuring things out. Uh, in February, I'll remind you that $22,629 $22, was a world record. I went back as far as I could find in QuickBooks, and I did not see another month that, uh, that matched that. Then if you look at March, you can see it was huge. So 32,000, not only did we exceed our goal by more than $10,000, but we set another really large record. Now keep that number in mind, that is a huge jump in revenue. But when it comes to P&L, I'm going to show you that we needed just about every stinking dime of that in order to uh, maintain a positive p &L. Okay, this is galley numbers, same deal. The numbers on the right in green are sales in the galley. The gray numbers indicate the goal or the objective. So we had budgeted 6,600, which was a pretty aggressive January. 
We came a little bit short in January. However, the interesting thing is that is the only month that we actually made a little bit of profit. Uh, the galley isn't really designed. I don't know if we're ever going to make uh, money, but we're trying to break even but keep or keep the losses within 15, 20%. We're happy there. But you can see each month uh, we, we're growing. Uh, 86.11 for March. That may be a record. It's very close to the record, but I think the bar that I want to blow out is a $9,000 galley um, sales month. So in the meantime, we don't want to burn out uh, the cooks. Uh, Jeff, Orion, uh, Linda, that whole crew. We also had uh, a guest chef, George, step in. That crew is doing an amazing job, and we're throwing a lot at them. They're working their butts off, and they're getting it done. And uh, this is really changing our overall pie chart, uh, and it's helping. It's helping us substantially, I can tell you that. This slide I like, uh, merchandise. So you can see the merchandise was never even uh, almost in existence for a while. We had it. But once we started focusing on it, we got rid of our old inventory, then we got new inventory, and you can see here we're at uh, 2,400. That stuff is pretty much sold out. We have some t-shirts left. The next summer series, I think, has been ordered. Uh, hopefully that uh, swag shows up in April and we can continue uh, this graph in a positive direct direction. Now this is the P&L. So let me articulate this a little bit. It goes back over here, these are negative numbers. Uh, this is uh, August of last year. So basically fourth quarter last year. And then uh, the green numbers are January, February, and March. So we had a really good profitability in January. But you know, we generated more revenue each month since January. And that huge spike in March, had we not had that, we would have still barely broke even on a P&L standpoint. So we needed every stinking dollar in order to maintain a profitability. And why was this? Because in March is when many expenses hit our P&L. Many of it is a past sins. Their, their sales tax from 2020 that had been unpaid. There's uh, state tax returns that were owed from 2019. We had big insurance payments that we paid for 2021, but for the whole year. One important measure of the health and the condition of any organization is cash on hand. And I'd like to point out that it's not a, the end of the world if you have a negative P&L. But when you put month, consecutive months back to back, what happens is your bank accounts get less and less and less. Basically, your accounts start to drain until you get cash flow, until you make more than you spend, right? In November of last year, the board went and got a line of credit. So just in case we run out of cash, we can afford to make payroll. So three weeks ago, I got a text from my financial secretary he was very excited. He said, you're not going to believe this for the first time ever. In the checking account, we have a hundred and I think it was $108,000. So this is very exciting. Yet another new record, I think, for some period of time that we got cash on hand. So what we're able to do now, we're going to start taking big chunks. Every time the checking account gets to a certain level, we're going to take big chunks. We're going to move it over to the savings account. So what I see is a pretty easy path without breaking our necks, without killing the bar staff, and without having our, our chefs wanting to walk out the door because they're overworked and understaffed. We can, we can now breathe a little easier and we can get to where we need to be. And we can also afford to spend some well-needed capital on the clubhouse and in the galley and things of that nature. Now, last thing I want to talk about is the Mission Bay Tackle Show and Swap Meet. We're targeting May the 16th. 
This has never been done before by the boat club. Uh, it's not my idea. It's a member's idea that I'm really stoked about because it fits very nicely into our charter. And San Diego needs this. Uh, the event that would normally happen this time of year at Del Mar Fairgrounds was canceled due to COVID. So there's a need. And this would be a really contribu great contribution to Mission Bay and San Diego. So we're gathering uh, as quickly as possible a committee. Uh, I want to get the fishermen involved. I want to get the, uh, the board members that are better equipped to do this than I am to really take a leadership role in this program. I really think this has potential to become an annual thing and to really bring notoriety to the club and really get, uh, get some props for San Diego Mission Bay Boat and Ski Club. So that's my briefing. That's all I got this time, you guys. Uh, we got oh, we got stuff this weekend. Friday night, of course, we'll have live music. Saturday, you got Christopher Dale and friends taking the stage in an outdoor concert. It's a spring break show, so uh, this is designed for you guys. Grab your lawn chairs, whatever. Come on down. Uh, enjoy yourselves out there. See you at the club. <laughs>